Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Excel chart template to recreate uh, your beautiful customized Excel charts. So um, in my last one of my last video, I was showing you how to create a customized um, tree, uh, triple cluster column chart with scatter points uh, to uh, satisfy this purpose that I want to demonstrate. So it takes me, say, roughly 30 minutes to create this chart, uh, which looked like this. And then um, it works perfectly. And then now let's say the business scenario is that we did this for IT department. We want to do exactly the same analysis for finance. So actually, this is a very common uh, issue that uh, analysts like us face. Like we create a really nice, beautiful chart or visuals, and then we want to replicate and reuse it as, as much as, as possible for different departments, different countries, uh, different business units. And how do we do that quickly in Excel with template? OK, so let me first show you how I would want to approach this. So I have my data set up already, so that's, um, this is a column data that I used for IT. Uh, this is the employee thought data that I used for IT as well. Uh, just to save time, I've already created the finance fake data and my finance employee fake data as well. I have three different jobs, finance, treasury, and tax. And I want to do exactly the same thing. So in Excel, what's really not so user friendly is that when you copy a chart like what I was doing, it doesn't automatically translate like it takes the data with you so you have to manually change the data to the data set um, so in our case for example if you want to recreate a chart with finance one way you can do is to watch my video here which takes about 30 minutes to recreate exactly the same chart or you can do it some uh, in the way that i have here uh, so that the thing you want to do is to make sure you cr uh, you select the right data sets. So for example, in this chart that I just copied, which is um, which is finance, so let me change the chart title to fit my finance purpose. And then let me change my data set. So my first bar is this first bar. So I will select it you select um, left, uh, left click, select it, and then you see those two colored triangles, uh, uh, rectangles. You just drag them down to the data that you want to display. And then you want to do the same thing for the rest of the bars. And then here you see where the problem is. When you want to recreate this chart, Excel, I don't know why, but it just automatically changed the color. It just doesn't keep the original template visual color tone or branding that you had spent so much time to customize. It just takes you to a random color that looks awful, right? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's frustrated by this. Um, so I'm going to tell you how I fixed it in a relatively less painful way. So I still um, I still make sure my data is selected right. And then um, my bars is now go doing good. Now I'm going to fix my dots. So for my dots, as you can see, I was referring to this column and this column. So I do the same thing. I just drag them to the right data that I want. Um, and I do it for every single set of data of mine. Um, and I'm just doing this for demonstration. Uh, if you have a large data set, uh, you might have other ways to organize your data in a more um, efficient way. But I'm just doing this for illustration. OK, so now my data, um, I can, yeah, I'm making sure that my data is all right. But my, but my um, format is not the same as my original format, which I love. So I'm going to save the original um, template as a template. So you go, you right click, and then you go to save as template. And then it's going to bring you automatically to this link. And uh, it's going to be saved on this folder. And then you just create a, uh, a name for your template. So um, let's say mine is uh, market pay. So this way, Excel automatically um, remembers all the colors um, and uh, all the customized um, shapes of your chart. Now, if you select your new chart 
and then you go to change my chart type and then it brings you here and then you go to template and then you will have the template that you just saved here. I call it market pay, you can call it anything else. And then you go OK, and then you have exactly the same template as the, the other one, which you can use, you can paste into PowerPoint, you can paste into um, uh, Word, and then it looks consistent, it looks beautiful. OK, so now the two charts look the same. So let's just uh, check if there's anything else that we need to customize. So I did notice that in my second chart, my, uh, my dot, my scatter chart labels are not uh, showing correctly. So I can customize that by right click and go to select data, and then go to my series numbers, and then go edit. So I will make sure my data are looking correct as uh, I want. And then for example, this ch um, this kind of um, data set, I want to call it Chattery employee. And then for the second chart, second one, it's showing my finance people. So I'll just name it as finance employee. And then the last one, um, as the data show, it's showing tax. So I'm going to customize it as a tax employee. OK, then OK, then you see you have exactly the kind of chart that you want. OK, so that is everything I want to share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment, and I will talk to you very soon.